Card Man here, Mad Card Minister, back with another video. All dragons, all video. Let's begin. Spawn of Thraxis, 5-5 five, five flying. When this dragon comes into play, it does damage equal to the number of mountains you control. So if you got 10 mountains, he's doing 10 motherfucking damage to somebody. Better look out. Voracious Dragon. 4-4 four, four Flying. Devour. When this dragon enters the battlefield, it deals damage to target creature or player equal to twice the number of goblins it devoured. So I don't really like this one. I don't really want him devouring up all my goblins. Next up on the list. Pristine Skywise. Flying. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, untap his ass. And it gains protection of whatever color you want. 6-4 flying. 6 mana. Pretty decent card. Pre-release, March 2015. Pre-release. Pristine Skywise. Thunder Dragon. 5-5 five, five flying. When Thunder Dragon enters the battlefield, it does 3 damage to each creature without flying. Even your own creatures. So if you got... Two 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 twos, one one one, and a three three, and you put this dragon out, they all die after yours. Don't sound too good to me. But a dragon, rare, rare to kill all your own creatures that are weak, and some of your opponents too. Chromium, <clears throat> the metal dragon. This is my favorite Elder Dragon Legend. 7-7. Seven, seven. Flying, Rampage, you gotta pay 3 mana just to keep him alive. 1995. Pretty shitty commander though, if you ask me. Costs too much mana to put out. Rampage ain't no good. You gotta pay just to keep him alive. But I love him. Free Jam Regent. Free Jam Regent. What the hell kind of dragon is that? 4-4 four, four Flying. <clears throat> and you can pump up Free Jam Regent's life too by tapping 2 mana. Improvise. You could use artifacts to help cast them. This guy's pretty decent. You could easily make him a 7-4. You could easily put him out for less than 6 mana. So I like this one. Rare. Moving on. Volcanic Dragon, 4-4. Four, four. Basically, it has Vigilance. It's unaffected by Summon and Sickness. Another pretty good one from Mirage. Mirage has about 80 reserve list cards. Just keep that in mind. The Rapacious Dragon, 3-3, three, three, flying. When Rapacious, Rapacious will, Dragon enters the battlefield, create two treasure tokens. You can sacrifice them to get land of any color. This one's uncommon. Pretty decent dragon. Pretty new, too. M20. 2020. Dracosef, Maw of Flames, one of the strongest dragons I ever fucking seen. Legendary creature, M20, rare. Flying, whenever Dracosef, Maw of Flames attacks, it deals 4 damage to any target and 3 damage to each of up to 2 other targets. 
So basically he's doing about 14 damage every time he attacks. And since he's a commander and he's flying, he can basically get through almost unabated. And it only takes 21 commander damage to win a game. So he attacks three times. You win. Let's see what's next. Siobhan Dragon, the classic. And flying 5 5 pump up for 6 mana. Every red deck could use one of these. And hypersonic Dragon. And 4 4 Flying Haste. You may cast all your sorcery spells as though they had flash. <coughs> Multicolored blue and red. This card's worth it. Rare. Next up, we got another Mirage card. Pearl Dragon. A flying with pump up life. You could pump his life up for two mana. So you could easily make him a 4-7 flying. Good to block other flyers with. Ryusai, the Falling Star. This one's not even a dragon. It's just a dragon spirit. Ghost dragon. Legendary creature. 5-5. Five, five. Whenever it dies, it does 5 damage to everything. Also could be used as a commander. It's a legendary creature. All your creatures with flying will still live though once he dies. Another pre-release. Dragon style twins. Also not a, not a dragon but dragon style twins. Double strike. So it does 6 damage every time it attacks. The first number is the damage. The second number is the life. Foil. Rare. These dragon style twins will hurt a motherfucker. Look at them. Look at the dragon style twins. And then we got a couple special cards for the end of the video. You might remember this guy from Yu-Gi-Oh. This one card is worth about 30 bucks. It's just a little $30 card. But if it said first edition right here, it'd be worth two to three hundred. Blue eyes, white dragon. Let's go ahead and see what we got in the back there. You recognize this guy? Not your boy. $25 card. Goku Planeswalker Commander. You can exile any creature. Four loyalty points. Darth Vader. Legendary creature. Tap to destroy target creature. Zombie Ninja Spirit. Scorpion. Mortal Kombat. With the get over here gameplay mechanic. I built the whole deck around this. Zombie Ninja Spirits. And M. Bison. The Street Fighter Commander. That lets you look at your opponent's hand. Flying, Vigilance, First Strike, Unstoppable. Then we got your boy Clark Kent. Clark Kent the Superman. Very, very big. 8-8. Eight, eight. Flying, First Strike, Haste, Indestructible. And those were the dragons. All dragons, all video. 
Mad Card Minister, signing off on another vid.